Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, I want to discuss you about the queries and the injector tree. So this will be useful, this will be used in most advanced cases. In more advanced cases, we will be using this one. So we can also use any provider token as a locator also. Instead of using this component or any string value, we can also use the provider token as the locator. This lets you locate the elements based on the component and directive properties. For example, I will try to tell you the scenario in such a way that where we can find the scenario. Let's say that we have a product uh, provider token. So for this one, what we will try to do, we will create an uh, in our app, okay, sub item. So there is nothing but sub item dot token dot ts. So I am creating sub item dot token dot ts. Okay. So this is our file. And now in this TypeScript file, we have a constant or otherwise export constant sub underscore item so we have one string which is shared across the multiple components sub item and this one is an injector token new inject injection token okay and this is of type string so i am taking a simple example of type string okay so this is the this is our thing so new injection token and here uh, what is happening here so we'll, okay of string so now we need to mention the string so the name is nothing else sub item let's say show. okay so that's it this is our injection token and this one will be injected across multiple components right now we have standalone component right the two components let's assume so that is nothing but task.component.ts file and also child.component.ts file so in these two components it is sharing so here task.component thing we will be providing using providers okay and here provide provide and this will be something like what i want to still and here it should be provide sub underscore item okay and this one is reflecting with the name and here we will be telling use value of uh, task component value okay so this is our provider okay if you want to inject this provider you can also inject it that's not that's not a problem so how you will inject this one so constructor so just I am showing you how to inject without injecting also we can do it. So inject. So this is commonly you will be able to see inject of uh, sub underscore item. We will be using inject of sub underscore item and we will be having public or private whichever variable you want you can do it. Private private injected item of type string that's it so now you can use this injected item you can say you can save this one in any variable or anything wherever you want it you can use it it's not a problem so now we have injected this child component okay so now we have we have injected the sub item so if you want to use this injected item in our child component dot html task component dot html file so you can use it without any problem task component dot html file and here you can use the div Okay, so we can use it without any problem so now this property is a private and only used okay so now here let's say that <coughs> we'll try to take it as an item of type string okay so here what i will try to do is injected item we will try to have it okay so, so sorry so here what i will do is uh, this dot item okay this dot item is equal to injected item so let's try to save it like this then we, we okay it's a private item it is saying right we need to make this one as a public i think now we can able to access it yes we can able to access in the same scenario now here you can remove this this dot item and all those things okay so that's it so now we can able to access this injected item in the same scenario in child component ts also it is having <coughs> providers and here provide now uh, what i want to provide here sub item and here in this one i will try to use the value mm, child component value okay in the same scenario if you want to inject it you can use the injection in the same scenario you can use it now let's assume that in our uh, app component.html which we are having it in our app component.html we are using app fn child like this right so now in this app fn child we are having the two items so for example let's say that we are having only single item now let's go to the p 
parent.component.ts file so in our parent.component.ts file so we will be having a content child okay now instead of having this one with a component you can also have with a placeholder also you so you can call it with a placeholder it's not a problem so now here sub underscore item okay so we want to get this value so here we need to read this one as child component if you want to read it you can read it just i want to show you the different type so sub item type okay and this one is of type string okay so we are getting the sub item type which is present in this one right of type string that's it so now if you try to take this content chain and here if you try to check this sub item type console.log so we will be able to get the value that is nothing but child component value will be able to see here child component whatever the value we have disk we have a mentioned in the provider we are able to get it in the same scenario for example let's say that we are having an app iphone task also okay now for this one to implement so we need to add the task name why because it will take the task name also right so some random number i am taking so now so we are we are displaying this task value also so task component value also we are displaying now if i want to use this value i want to i want to mention this both the things based on a common thing is nothing but sub item type i want to get the sub item value in both of the components so that for that reason what i can do is so here i can use a content children and sub item both are having a sub item and here this one will be a query list okay so this one is a query list query list of string now if you try to get this sub item type okay this is a query list and you will be having both the values child component value and also task component value you will be having and if i loop over this both the things something like this dot and i will try to do this one as a sub item and here this dot sub items types dot for each okay of element let's assume so here console dot log element means we will be able to get the whatever the provider value we have mentioned in the both the components we will be able to get the both the values child component value and task component value like this you will be able to get the values so this is how we can able to access using the provider as a location so this is a more advanced case just i am explaining you how we can do it using the provider also hope you understood about this concept so why we will be using this inject thing is so if you want to inject uh, in a multiple components so we will be injecting this one as a provider directly we can inject it hope you understood about this concept so if you have any doubts or any suggestions uh, i will commit this code first of all i will commit this code in our new branch video iphone 24 and i will commit this entire code so this one is nothing but uh, provider injection 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 tree i will do it so that's it so if you have a need or if you want to refer this code means i will be providing the github repository in the description below so you can have a take a look at that one and if you like this and if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you